Hi and welcome. It has been a while since we last made a video and that's because the manufacturers are only now starting to come online with their demo models and we hope to bring you a lot more videos more frequently through the next couple of weeks. This week I'm here to tell you about the new 2018 Suzuki DL1000 XT. Now if you like what you see please subscribe to the channel. We need subscriptions to get the YouTube monetization going and please give us some feedback of what it is that you want to see in future. But first, let's get back to the Suzuki DL1000 XT. This is the 2018 DL1000. It doesn't look much different to its predecessor and most of the changes that went into this year's model is under the skin. It now has additional electronic sensors to measure all sorts of angles on the bike, lean angle, your angle, so that the computer can make far better decisions when you are in mid corner and you grab either a handful of throttle or a handful of brakes. Speaking of brakes, the brakes have been updated. It's now got a connected brake system. That means if either of the wheels, front or rear, loses grip, the computer will then reduce the pressure at the offending end and apply pressure to the other end. The front of the bike also received a styling upgrade. The beak has now got more angular lines. The indicators have been moved from here to here. And I suppose that it's got to do with getting them out of the way if you drop the bike. The screen has also been upgraded. It's now about five centimeters taller than the one it replaces. It still has the ratchet system to adjust it for angle. But if you want to adjust the height, you still have to use tools. Other styling updates to the XT model is now it has got spoked wheels and it has a belly pan over the engine. Right here on the side it reads Sport Adventure Tourer. Now this is a bike that tries to be all bikes rolled into one and with that comes a very real danger of it missing all three marks. But let's analyze those three words. Every place worth visiting in our country is half a day's drive from Gauteng and for that you need a comfortable, powerful, large capacity bike to lug you and your luggage around effortlessly. So the V-Strom does qualify as a tourer. Suzuki have added an easy start system and a low RPM assist to this year's model and that will allow for effortless touring. The seating position is upright and the foot pegs are directly below your bum and an integrated luggage system is available on long distance escapades. So for the adventure part of it, the bike at least has got spoked wheels. It doesn't have a lot of suspension travel, although the suspension is fully adjustable back and rear. And you can do some mild off-roading with this motorcycle. Now for the sports side of things, this is a 1037cc V-twin that produces just shy of 100 horsepower. I liked pushing this bike hard. It goes effortlessly above 200 k's an hour. And when you do approach a corner, it doesn't wobble and wallow. It really stays true and I liked riding this bike as a sport bike as well. If I have but one gripe with this motorcycle, that is that seat. That is just a wrong choice on any motorcycle to have a seat that is not black. That seat you'll just have to give a dirty look and the stain will sit there. The dash on this bike has stayed unchanged from the previous model and that's a good thing. It has a large analog rev counter and all the other information is displayed in an LCD. There is a vast amount of information displayed in those LCDs and I doubt that you will be wanting for anything else. If you read any review of the DL1000 V-Strom or the 650 for that matter, there's always one word that comes to mind and that's underrated. I've heard unsung hero, I've heard the forgotten child, but all in all, journalists concur that this really is a spectacular motorcycle and unfortunately easily overlooked. So if you are in the market for a big dually that can take you and your passenger on extended trips all day long, have a little bit of off-road capabilities, then you'll be foolish not to have the DL1000 on your list. This really is a spectacular motorcycle and I enjoyed riding it. And for once, a sport adventure tourer, the DL1000 XT.